Okay, so we've got an interesting one here. So we've got a TMN GRS that came in completely stock. It's been upgraded. Um, the customer wanted to do, do pretty much everything to it. So it's had gears, um, upgraded nozzle, you know, upgraded air seal components, all, all that sort of stuff. Um, full metal tooth piston, high, higher torque motor, bushes, uh, uh, upgraded spring to get the FPS more towards 350 and uh, it's got a gate tighten in it as well um, and it's got some weird behavior which I'll show in a second I'll show you the settings first and if you pull the trigger on semi really slowly it multiple fires and it's not bump firing it's doing sometimes it does two three sometimes it just decides to sit in full auto with the trigger half pulled uh, really strange behavior uh, and in terms of the settings Look at the settings. So cycle detection's on. Uh, it just happens to be on a tooth on a tooth at the moment. Uh, battery protection's on. That's off. Gear ratio is normal. Active brake. I've set it at a maximum to try and stop it doing double shotting and semi uh, vibration. There, that's on. Trigger moves as you'd expect. I've turned pre-cocking off, so make sure that's not causing any issues. Uh, as rate of fire controls off, the selector behaves as it should. Safe semi auto, uh, and it's set to safe semi auto on the fire modes. Magazine stuff's off. Telemetry, whatever. Uh, diagnostics, no errors. And it is on some early firmware. Oh, so we might try the new firmware actually. Let's update. Um, so we might do that in a minute, but I'll show you what it does first. It's quite strange. Okay, so we've got 11.1 LiPo connected. Uh, it's in semi. There we go. Perfect, eh? And put it in full auto. Right, let's go back to semi. Now watch this. Mm -hmm. Can't get it to do it. Oh, I wonder. What it was doing on a really slow trigger pull. There you go. Double firing. Why? Triple firing then. But hard pull behaves correctly. No, it didn't do that time. Didn't do that time. There you go. Does it that time? Very strange. Yes, it's all right. If you do a smooth pull, it's absolutely fine. But a uh, fail. Why does it do that? No idea. Um, check the sensors are clean. Check the PCB is not vi vibrating or shifting around under fire. Um, yep, yeah, don't know. The only thing I can think of is somehow the board is moving. The back end bit where the sensors are on a sector gear, it, it is a little loose. Uh, it's not great. Um, there's no screw to screw it down at that far back point where the two sensors are. So that's maybe that's just wibbling slightly um, that's about the only thing I can think of otherwise I'm pretty much I'm going to have to be asking Gate at this point ok so I've updated the firmware and it was still doing it um, and it was almost at the point of taking the gearbox completely apart again checking the board, checking the sensors you know seeing if there's anything untoward 
in the last ditch attempt, I just thought, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll add, a, I'll add the sniper delay. Uh, everything else is off, so you can see this is a slightly newer version, so it's got the, the equaliser thing on it on there for the trigger. Um, there's a few other bits and pieces that appeared under the magazine, the reload time and low ammo warning. Uh, the bolt catch is off at the moment. I will turn that back on in a bit. Um, and it's got a bit more on the telemetry. Um, so, it, yeah, there we go. So we put the sniper delay, I've done it to 0.5, maybe do it at 0.2, uh, but we'll leave it at 0.5. Uh, and it seems to be better, well, it seems to be fixed now, but, um, you know, I need to give it a good test and see if it is. So that's with the sniper delay enabled on semi, uh, 11 1 LiPo again, everything's the same as before. Now on semi, <laughs> it's going to do it now, I bet, but. It, let go of the trigger so fair enough the slowest I possibly squeeze it yeah, it doesn't do it now half a second is a bit long so I'm going to put it down to point 0.2 and see see if it's still okay on point 0.2 so you can just see from I was a disconnect I put a sniper delay down to point 0.2 uh, and Seems to have fixed whatever issues going on. Um, let's see, it's about as fast as I can now. I could probably really rapidly pull the trigger, but. That's as good as you need on semi, isn't it? So, yeah, that sniper delay. Definitely seems to fix the issue of it burst firing on semi for whatever reason. Um, yeah, yeah. And said so the, the install. So yeah, for the install, it, it, that's that from the gate site. You can see up here, it has the, the full tooth and half tooth detector wheels sensors. I don't know they've got a let's just close that. Let's close let's go, go that way. We've got an image of the board all on. No, they haven't. Uh, but this this board, if we go onto this eBay list and you can sort of get the idea. This has only got one sensor on it, though not two. But that's the only screw locator hole for the entire board is there. And then that's the top board that plugs into these. Uh, connectors here there's nothing holding the rest of this board down here and it can just wobble especially under an NGRS it can wobble and I suspect and maybe flex a little bit uh, I'm guessing so perhaps that has some impact on these sensors and the vibration or, or something uh, makes them think the sector gear hasn't you know, it doesn't detect the cycle properly, and it just does a, two or three shots before it does detect the cycle properly. Don't know. Um, without being able to diagnose it and look at the firmware and understand what's on the chips and how it works, no idea. That's a question for Gate. But yeah, maybe it's just it, it does seem when you install it that this does is not secure on the face, the bottom face of the gearbox. It's just you know it can move ever so slightly uh, upwards, can flex slightly. Uh, you know, but you do have this connector going into here, 
this board obviously flips and pushes in uh, and it's as, we, as you saw on the gate site it's got these pads to keep it pushed but you can see all of this sector gear sits in here it's just open and can flap about you can see they've, they've tried to reinforce it here as well to give it some th thickness maybe it's that uh don't know um but if you get in that sort of case where it's doing what this one's doing sniper delay um is your friend <laughs>